Bazooka Bubblegum was first introduced shortly after World War II by the Topps Company of Brooklyn, New York. As life settled back to normal in 1947, this gum, packaged in patriotic red, white, and blue, was named Bazooka, most likely after the rocket-propelled anti-tank weapon used during the war. Bazooka was one of the first to offer a multi-pack of gum, which included six pieces and were sold for a nickel. Like other bubblegum brands at the time, the gum pieces were wrapped to include a short comic strip. Bazooka the Atom Bubble Boy was the first mascot and had various adventures by blowing a large bubble and seeing where it would take him. The character didn't prove to be popular, or maybe it was the fact that consumers weren't ready to spend a nickel when the cost for a single piece of gum was only a penny, and a full-size candy bar cost the same. Also in the post-atomic age, the reference to radiation may have played a role. So in 1953, Topps switched to selling single pieces of gum for a penny. Wesley Morse was also hired to create a new character to represent the brand. Morse used his son as the inspiration for Bazooka Joe and added other characters to create his gang. With its simple three to four panel comics that consisted of soft, child-friendly jokes, it was an instant hit. Kids often saved the comics to paste on paper and create their own comic books. They were even encouraged to collect and redeem the comics for various prizes such as pins, keychains, flashlights, or spy cameras. To compensate for the small size of the comics, Joe and his gang were given very unique styles. Bazooka Joe wore an eye patch, which some speculate was a nod to the famous Hathaway shirt man. Mort wore an oversized turtleneck pulled up over his mouth. Herman had an overly healthy appetite. Tuffy wore a sailor hat, while Pesty wore a cowboy hat. There was also Jane, Joe's girlfriend, and Walkie Talkie, the neighborhood dog. The cartoons were a success, not only for their humor, but also because they offered a fortune. The bottom of the comic strip included fortunes similar to those one would find in a fortune cookie.
The style of the Bazooka Joe comics changed with the times. In 1962, the characters were redrawn, and the cartoon paper was reduced by half its size. The characters were revised again in 1989, and the title was updated to Bazooka Joe and Company. Over the years, Joe continued to be updated to stay current with changing trends. He eventually adopted a more contemporary look during the 1990s, complete with low-slung baggy jeans. In 2012, Bazooka Joe ended his 59-year run due to the comics being discontinued. Instead, they used brain teasers on the wrappers in an attempt to modernize the brand. Also, instead of staying true to its patriotic-inspired roots, the wrapper took on a modern look, complete with graffiti-inspired graphics and brighter colors. In 2019, Bazooka Joe made a comeback, which came with six pieces of gum in a box inspired by the brand's original packaging. The packaging was labeled as Bazooka Throwback and featured favorite comics from the 1970s. Today, Bazooka Joe comic strips are very collectible. Any chance you still have some hidden away somewhere?